for 98-year-old Saul Dreyer in Florida, music is magic. Music keeps me alive. I don't have to eat. I don't have to drink. I want to make sure that what I do is perfect. At times, his life wasn't so perfect. Saul grew up in Poland and worked in Schindler's factory during the Holocaust. To this day, look at how vividly he remembers that time in a concentration camp when his fellow prisoners started singing and he joined in. I was in the concentration camp in Schindler's factory, Schindler's uh, concentration camp. And I was living upstairs on the third floor of the, bon, uh, you know, beds. We call this the penthouse. This man started to sing, and boys were standing up to him and helped him. And as they were singing, I was laying on my third floor bed. So I said, something is missing, something. I took the sprungs and turned around. I was singing with them. Ra la 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 la. Ra la 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 la. That music kept him alive amid the horror. He lost around 25 family members, including his parents and sister. A lot of questions, people ask me, Sal, how did you survive? So I said, I got all the answers for you, but I don't know how I survived. But he did and lived a full life. A loving wife, four kids, eight grandchildren, three great-grandchildren. Just about perfect. Yet something was missing. Music. He decided to live out his dream and form a Holocaust survivor band. Two people told me I'm crazy. My wife and my rabbi. But what's even crazier is that it worked. He's now played all around the country, even creating his own foundation. The foundation we put together to put together young and old people should know there was a Holocaust and help them and make sure they can mingle the older people with the young people, universities and high schools. This is our aim. Earlier this month, another dream came true. At a Hanukkah reception, he played at the White House with the United States Marine Band. I didn't know that I was going to play. I went, I went upstairs as we going out, and I see our orchestra sitting. So the, the, my, guy, my escort, he said, Mr. Dreyer, we're going to stop here. I said, why? You're going to see what? Unbelievable. I was going wild. I didn't, I, I didn't hear the music. I was just banging my drum. I, I have got no words. I was the most happy man in life. Here he is, meeting President Biden. Mr. Saul Dreyer. I was crying in my, in my heart. What are you talking about? I, I, I have got no words. I, I can repeat myself. It's, it's something that it's unbelievable could have happened. A little boy that survived. Five years of concentration camp, a war, it come to the United States, and then on the 98th birthday, I became famous. And being in the White House, this is impossible. This is a dream, more than a dream. I can't explain what it is. Perfection. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.